Hello kids. Sunday again and we're heading south today. South. We're coming for Gavin Warren and texting Sid and we're gonna have those clod up as hammies today. We've got three detectors in the back. One's uh one's Gavin's, two mine, Gavin's. Sorry Gareth. <laughs> Gareth, right. one's Gareth's, two mine. I'm I'm having one in each hand today and Gareth's there solely as a cameraman. So I've got I've got one one spare and two that I'm gonna be using. Gareth said he'll just stay on the camera and I'll I'll pay him in Roman coins. Alright kids, say hello Gareth. Alright. Look, there we are, Birmingham 49 mile. Signing off kids, cheerio. Just playing GTA, look, there's an old rover. Just missed that one. Look what's coming up behind us now, kids. Look at this fucker. Look, look. Let's have him. Come on. Game on. Look what's behind us now. We're looking in GTA, look. Let's have some of this, kids. Fucking overtake the twat. Yeah, let's have it. Son, that's how you do it. We're coming for your hammies. Birmingham, 40 miles. All right, kids. See you soon. There she is. Gavin Starfine. He's brought Mika with him. His lucky little leprechaun. And look what, look what um, the boy from the, with the Ace 150 is on. He's on his silver already. I don't, I can't, it's hard to tell in this light whether I'm getting a good picture. Look at this. Gareth Bunnell with his first ever. His, his first ever thimble. First ever thimble. Is it? And he's a silver effect. Oh, well, I'm going. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had one yet. It's a beaut. you got to do the silver thimble dance now. Come on. <laughs> Bring your luck. <laughs> he's got a wobbly head. He's having a fit. <laughs> <laughs> That's about all you could do. Yeah. Bye yeah. for just, now. Just, just the foot going like that. <laughs> no, it was just, just his head. It was gonna fall. <laughs> gonna fall off. The sun's out now. It's hot. Out of all these clod hoppers. See them all out there in the distance. Surrounded by clod hoppers. The second field I've been in, it's half past 11 and there's six hammered coins come up. I haven't seen any of them yet, but I'm going to try and get some pictures. Six hammered coins by half past 11. And that's just what I know of. I've just seen a nice medieval pot bag. I've had buttons and a bag seal and stuff. No standout finds yet. I just met Tecton Sid, he's over there with his back to us, with his spade on his shoulder there. He's just informed me that I've won a really nice digging tool, you know, one of the little handheld blades. Really nice one, so I'm going to go and pick that up off him later. That was for Find of the Month competition or something on his uh, Clod Hoppers Facebook page. Really made up with that. So I haven't found nothing yet, but I have found myself to be a winner. Speak to you later, see if we can get something. Gareth's had his only first ever thimble, like I showed you before. Silver. So yeah, well done to the clods for getting people on the good stuff. Cool <laughs> it's voodoo. It's oh, it's magic. Voodoo magic man. Yeah. Let's have a look at what, what it says on it. <laughs> no, nah, all you got is you got, you got oh, iron life sensitivity. 
Uh, you've got a dis sort of discrimination or tune no, or whatever, but you don't see no matter two or three you put it. You've got um, on off, which is something to do with mode, and sure. the main on off's that, and then all you go is a battery check. Well, that's okay, you've got a lot that comes on there. And it's like an electronic device. Yeah. There is, yeah, you can sort of say that, I suppose, what it's supposed to be. But you can, well, it's about for me. Apparently, some, some, some say these work like these CT axes, like, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that. Yeah, we got it. There's got to be something yeah. there. There's got to be a good detector. Right. Oh. This is what you get with a day out with the clouds, you see. see. You've got to get saved. See what you got. You've got Bill. Any idea what it is? It's an hammered. <laughs> well, yeah, who cares when it's a hammered like, but... Any penny in it. Any crap for the other beast. He's had two, hasn't he? We'll talk to Ralph. Just have a quick look on this. Ralph Harris, that is. This camera. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so can you guess what he fucking is? Yeah? <laughs> if that was any fucking good, he'd be pointing at me. <laughs> <laughs> he had anything done? Yeah, two hammers, too many other buckles. A bullet yeah. and a Vicky Sixpence. Yeah. What failed? This one. Are there seven horses? Yeah, nice bullet. See that there? Any other? Sorry, Dick. You got another silver there? Yeah. Yeah, that's that one down. It's a Vicky. Yeah. Bit of preference, that. Bit of preference, that. Bit of preference, that. How many is there? Yeah, two. Two little ones. Nice detail on them, aren't it? Very nice. Are both Lizzie's down? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I had a feeling I was going to get a Lizzie today, but I think I've missed them. <laughs> Can you turn them over? Yeah, oh, that's nice too. That, one. that one's a bit better, but that's lovely. I'm going to make this a quick break and then camp in this field, I think. Mm. That's where it's all coming out. It's on nine hammered now. Nine hammered, and what are we on? About 12 o'clock? Yeah. The cloud off is getting them on the good stuff. You've got a bit of frosted jump. Right, that's nice one. Oh, well done, Jamie. Have you noticed? Right guys, it's gone two o'clock in the afternoon, out with the clod offers and uh, I've had nothing, you know, I haven't had any major finds today, up to now. I'm really glad that my, my buddy's done well. <coughs> Bless me, I'm um, sorry, uh, my buddy, he's had his first ever thimble, like I said earlier, nice silver one. He's had a little jewel out of a ring or some sort of thing, could be medieval or something, it seems to have a little engraving behind the jewel in the satin, or a lock of hair. This one's jumping 67, 74-ish. I usually find nothing if I do a live dig, but I find nothing anyway, so let's see if the live dig and change me luck for the better this time. Oh, oh, oh well. Yeah, I'd say it has really, because some sort of fastening. I would call it just yet, but it's probably my best find up to now. The live dig has actually worked. Happy days, eh? Whether it's closed fastening or Furniture or what, yes. I haven't seen one quite that size. Very, very similar to like the clog class we was getting, but they were half the size, if that. So there you go, a little live dig that actually worked for a change. Right, catch you later. over there has ever heard of it. He's high, wide and sprinting for that find of the day.
lower sky on this field today has had the most. So at least four silvers, two hammers. He was, he was hardly moving. So slow and low, guys. You heard it here. If you've not heard it before, which you should have. Well, I've just stopped for a minute. I thought I'd just give you a rundown of the settings I'm using on my T2 today. The scrims on factory there. I think I'll actually knock that down. I'd like I like a little bit of the scrim on it. I'm on two plus and sensitivity. I very rarely do this, but it's not a bad field and it's handling on it today. As you can see, the sensitivity 99, five to scrim and two plus. That's me settings. I'm using the DTAC 13 inch ultimate coil. I always have just the small finds pouch. I don't like the big floppy ones. I've got my pin punter taped, taped up to a bit of elastic on there. I was actually very, very fortunate today because I, I did need one of these and I probably wouldn't have been able to afford one this good. Big thanks to the guys at Pro Evolution uh, Digging Tools, you know. They make amazing, amazing digging tools there. Pro Evolution, look at that. And a big thanks to the clod offers yet again because I actually won that on one of their competitions. Uh, you put your best finds up. And I think some people swerved it. And uh, I knew there's other people who had better stuff, but not everybody wants to enter these competitions. So I was lucky with what I entered. I won it anyway, made up of that. And I've just got my little Technetics backpack. Uh, quick, quick. The only coin, I just got a coin about 10 minutes ago, it's, it's coming up to 3 o'clock almost. I'll show you this coin. Oh, I always have a problem getting the macro on this one ended. There's not a lot of detail on this coin to be fair, so. It's not really worth sweating on the camera and the macro. That's my only coin up to now. Bent copper. But I did see. I did see a port. Oh, there, there's the portrait. Let's put it down here. See? See, yeah. That's it. I'm sorry about this camera work. In future, I'll put the coin down and get the shot. Right. So I'll get on and see what else I can find. Right kids, we're nearly home. We didn't want any ammies anyway, did we? Got Gareth? No, did we help? Didn't need any ammies. I've got a nice, uh, I reckon it's a William the Fair. No, a William, as in William of Orange. I reckon I've got one of his. He's got a stunning silver thimble. Um, and a nice little jewel out of a ring. Uh, so there you go. It was a really great day down with the clods. Uh, I got an amazing um, Evolution Pro digging tool off, off them from a little giveaway competition they done on their on their cool little Facebook group, Clod Hoppers. Join up, join up on Facebook and see what see what the forums like. Well, that's it. Have we got rid of them coppers, you reckon, by now? Yeah, use, use them, please. Right, kids. I'll see you next Sunday for another little uh, travelogue. See if we can finally get these hammies for you. Cheerio.